Please be seated. Four years ago, we arrived at STEM excited, nervous, and not quite sure of what lay ahead. Now, after 720 days of school, seemingly endless IAs, a certain 
4,000 word research paper, hours of class prep, and more Google Docs than we can count, I'm proud to say that we made it. Today isn't just a celebration of our time at STEM. It's the culmination of our hard work, the ups and downs, and the lessons we've learned along the way. Since our freshman year, it's truly amazing to see how much we've learned, how much we've grown, and how many memories we've made. While each of us will be moving forward, opening new doors, and welcoming new challenges, We'll never forget our time at STEM. We'll always remember the long lines at Java City, the boys' cheer routines at each year's Powder Puff Games, the importance of bringing a straight edge to physics, the friendships we've made, and the meaningful relationships we've built with teachers who were there to support us as we stumbled and failed and discovered who we were. After four years, I'm most proud of the kind, confident, and compassionate individuals we've grown into. And I can't wait to see how each and every one of us leaves our mark on the world. Tonight, I'm honored to welcome family, friends, faculty, administration, members of the Downingtown Board of Education, Dr. Lenardi, and most importantly, the class of 2021, to the Downingtown STEM Academy's eighth graduation and the 140th Downingtown High School commencement ceremony. <laughs> this ceremony isn't just meant to recognize the 204 members of the class of 2021 and their accomplishments. It's also to honor the unwavering commitment, encouragement, and support from our family, faculty, and friends. To each of you who has made today possible, we thank you for all that you've done and for celebrating here with us tonight. Thank you, Rhea. Our first speaker is passionate about uplifting her community and sharing her love for science and innovation. As the president of the Society of Women's Engineers Next, she inspires young girls to pursue STEM fields by leading outreach initiatives to elementary schools. Within the past year, she was a founding member of a national nonprofit organization called Telehealth Access for Seniors, where she serves as the Pennsylvania State Lead. She has donated over 160 devices to hospitals in Philadelphia to help low-income senior citizens stay connected to their families and physicians via telemedicine during the pandemic. Having attended the Pennsylvania Governor's School for Science, she explored interests in science through her published research paper on molecular vibration. As an officer of both the Junior State of America and Technology Student Association, she deeply values interdisciplinary studies. She will be attending the University of Pennsylvania this fall, pursuing mechanical engineering at the School of Engineering and Applied Sciences. Please welcome to the stage, Rhea Mitra. As I clicked the link to join my first Zoom class at the start of senior year, I couldn't help but think about the wide-eyed, anxious freshmen we were just four years before. For one thing, we could have never imagined having to log on to join our senior year. I remember being greeted by the legendary Mr. Bill after 
as I walked in through the side door entrance for the first time while trying to channel the full freshman year experience by listening to 15 by Taylor Swift. I thought about all the new friends I'd make, the exciting IB courses I'd take, my future career, and all of the new experiences I would have as a high school student at STEM. And I was especially excited after hearing about the pool on the roof of the building that the seniors swore I had to check out. But our freshmen selves could have never predicted the journey that's brought us here. What started as a harmless two-week break from school in the middle of March of 2020 quickly turned into a frenzy of TikTok dances, fighting over the last pack of toilet paper at the grocery store, becoming master chefs, and binging every show and movie available on Netflix. Despite the chaos that followed, this seemingly two-week-long vacation brought us here. Instead of signing each other's yearbooks, we commented on each other's class of 2021 Instagram posts. We sat through awkward silences in breakout rooms, desperately hoping someone else would unmute their microphone first. But there's beauty in the fact that even during the worst of it all, we persisted. We gained a greater understanding for each other and an appreciation for how we could work together to build up our community during a difficult time. The small family-owned businesses struggling to stay afloat this year. The students who had to make the selfless decision of staying virtual to keep their grandparents safe. And the teachers balancing their own children while lecturing on Zoom. We gained perspective on the lives of our friends and families. We learned to be flexible and resilient staying spirited despite the hardships. We found ways to transition STEM traditions to a virtual setting, whether it was showing off our Spirit Week gear through Zoom cameras, watching the newest episode of STEM TV Quarantine Edition, or seeing our Mr. STEM candidates show off their skills through a computer screen. We laughed through the awkward silences when our teachers got kicked out of Zoom meetings and participated in daily trivia, even without the prospect of winning a Jolly Rancher. But what truly inspires me about the class of 2021 is that we have never fallen short of determined. Throughout our four years, we've made a profound impact on the STEM community. We've raised mental health awareness in our district through clubs like Avitam, taken action to fight against climate change through trash pickups, speaking to our community leaders, researching the future of sustainability and clean energy in our science courses, and spoken out against social and racial injustices. Using the perspective, attitude, and mindset we've gained from our past four years at STEM, there is no doubt we will continue to be even more determined to make a difference in our futures. Through all of the late nights spent working on our EEs, agonizing over our next literature time writing, and worrying that our IA date is correct, our hard work and drive has led us here, to this exact moment. Although this year has been nothing close to normal, being able to be there for one another through one of the most trying times in our lives is an experience that we will never forget and someday cherish. Together, we were confused, nervous, and scared in the beginning of this unprecedented year. But we helped create an environment at STEM that was full of optimism and persistence, inspiring us to grow to become the accomplished young adults we are now. Because of this, we are forever bonded in a way that no other graduating class in STEM history has ever been. Congratulations to the class of 2021. Let's log off.
Every year, the downtown area high school alumni association presents a prestigious scholarship to one student from each high school in this district. This scholarship is presented to honor these selected students for showing commitment to their school and community through extracurricular activities and leadership roles. Founded over 130 years ago, the Downingtown Area High School Alumni Association is the oldest continually operating alumni association in the country and continues to uphold education and scholarship. Our speaker today is a pillar of the Downingtown community, serving as the vice president of the Alumni Association. She's a graduate of the Downingtown Senior High School Westchester University and currently teaches music at Downtown Area School District Elementary Schools. Please give a warm round of applause to Ms. Angela Bear. Good evening. My name is Angela Bear, and I'm proud to be here with you tonight as a district teacher, parent, and member of the Downtown Area Senior High School class of 1999. Before I present the scholarship this evening, I'd like to ask all of you, what will you do as alumni? If you decide to live in the area, Join our fellow alumni as being part of our good neighbor community and support future Downingtown students as they continue in our tradition of excellence. If you decide to live in another area, take a piece of Downingtown with you and bring kindness to your new community. I'd like to congratulate all of the graduates of the STEM Academy class of 2021. So you heard a little bit about the Alumni Association earlier. We are one of the oldest continuously active alumni associations in the nation, and we formed in 1884. We sponsor the annual homecomings, the Battle of the Brandywine, and the Alumni Hall of Fame. Although some of these events were canceled this year due to COVID, Luckily, we're able to continue our scholarships. We do offer a scholarship to a graduate of each high school in the amount of $2,500. This year's recipient from STEM is extraordinary. His GPA, 4.5140. He holds leadership positions in the Chester County Youth Orchestra as a violinist, also holds leadership positions in the HOSA, Future Health Professionals. He organized a school-wide book drive to benefit CHOP's Reach Out and Read program, and he's a patient transporter at the Paoli Hospital. He plans to study biochemistry in the fall at the University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill. It is my honor to present the Downingtown Area Alumni Association Scholarship to Leo Zhang. Leo, Leo please, please come, come forward, forward as time to receive your scholarship. Thank, Thank you. you. We are blessed to live in a nation 
where freedom and liberty are fiercely protected. Many of us graduating today are 18, which means we are officially adults. And as adults, we have to make many choices regarding our future. Four of us have made an honorable and brave commitment to selflessly serve our country. At this time, I would like to recognize Owen Clark, Air Force ROTC at Brigham Young University. Wayne, Wayne Cochran, Active Duty Air Force. <laughs> Julia Davidson, United States Naval Academy. And, and Lara McDowell, Army ROTC at Penn State University. We, we recognize these graduates today, not only for their decision to serve our country in the United States Armed Forces, but also for their decision to do so with such conviction. Will the four of you please stand and remain standing? To those currently serving our country, and to all of those who have served, please stand with Owen, Wayne, Julia, and Lara, and be recognized for your service to our country. Thank you, you may be seated. Congratulations, class of 2021, on this most momentous occasion. While it is important to celebrate our own successes and relish in the excitement for the next chapter of our lives, it is equally important to acknowledge those members of our faculty who have guided us along the way to this very ceremony. This year, the National Honor Society Executive Committee has chosen to honor Mrs. Catherine Bukovecki, an expert with unparalleled brilliance of the IB's renowned CAS and EE requirements. Through her dedication to encourage resilience in her students and her passion for inspiring lightheartedness within the walls of our school community, Mrs. Bukovecki's work as a pillar of support and reliability truly deserves this honorable recognition. We can begin unraveling the story of the illustrious Mrs. Bukovecki during her time at Shippensburg University, where she achieved both a teaching and communication arts degree. This led to a temporary position as an English teacher at Downingtown High School, at a time when the eyes of West met those of East in one small brick building. In the next few years, she gained experience through a corporate career at an area environmental company, the joys of motherhood, a master's in instructional design from Arcadia University, and even a few doctoral classes in educational leadership. Yet, despite this myriad of opportunities, Mrs. Bukovecki recognized her undeniable, lingering affinity for telling and sharing stories 
And so she returned as a literature teacher, but this time to STEM. Thankfully, it is this recognition that has allowed her to shape our own stories. The stories of Downingtown STEM Academy's class of 2021. From the moment she laid eyes on our all too eager eighth grade application essays, each of us have been touched by Mrs. Bukovecki's introduction to our personal narratives. Today, as a specialist of the IB, many of us have had the privilege of hearing Mrs. Bukovecki's witty comments, advice, and lovable threats to meet every imaginable deadline. Whether a diploma candidate or not, every one of us can recognize her loving presence nestled in the corner of the NOCO, always available to meet to structure impressive essays, craft service experiences, or simply just lift our spirits with that characteristic comedic relief. With the narrative that we can always challenge our perceived potential, Mrs. Bukovecki never sugarcoated the truth when it came to her expectations of us. It was this discipline that encouraged us to work harder than ever before. As we sit here today in glistening blue caps and gowns, as the only class that has ever turned in every one of their EEs on time, <laughs> we can certainly attest to the success of her caring efforts and relentless support. While some of you may not remember, Mrs. Bukovecki's graceful impact on our lives began with her presence in our civics and government classes four years ago. When she revealed the resource features available to us as naive STEM freshmen, our teeny, fragile, and humorous nature as a class stood out to her the most. Now, we have clearly grown a few inches since then, yet only we know how much we have truly grown in knowledge, honesty, self-discipline, and academic preparedness as a direct result of her influence. Mrs. Bukovecki, you often speak of how you adore changing your environment or your profession simply for the thrill of something new. However, I'm not sure that we could ever express just how much you have changed us. Before we cast our caps into the sky, in the words of Shakespeare, Mrs. Bukovecki advises that to thine own self be true. She reminds us to remain true to who we are and that sometimes just enough is enough to remain our most composed, unapologetic selves. From the class of 2021, thank you for your unforgettable, sarcastic mentorship your dedication to our school and its students, and for always encouraging the next chapter of our stories to be as candid and limitless as yours was and will continue to be. Mrs. Bukovecki, will you please stand and be recognized? Thank you. Good evening, and congratulations, seniors. You made it. Our next speaker made her mark at STEM as the president of Avidum, executive for French Honor Society, and a two-year Camathon executive. She was also president for the 2021 CCIU Student Forum, where she facilitated many thought-provoking discussions. In addition to DASD extracurriculars, 
She is a classically trained ballet dancer at the Chester Valley Dance Academy. Continuing with her wide range of interests, this speaker worked at the Chester Springs Creamery for all four years of high school, manufacturing and scooping ice cream. While studying HL psychology, this speaker found a love of the brain and all its mysteries. She used this curiosity to place as a finalist in the 2020 New York Times Learning Network STEM Essay Contest. She will be attending Columbia University in New York City this fall, majoring in psychology on a pre-medical track. After college, she plans to go to medical school and train in medical examinations. Please join me in welcoming our next student speaker, who is also quite the Beatles fan. So here comes our son, Miss Paige Williams. Do you remember our freshman unit for astrophysics? Yeah. Among other traumatizing details about the space-time continuum, I remember a particular teacher staring at me and saying, I don't want to send you into a spiral, but there are 26 dimensions according to string theory. That sent me into a never-ending spiral. How could I accomplish anything when I couldn't even comprehend three dimensions, let alone 23 others I wasn't even aware of? We came into STEM thinking we knew everything, quickly realized we knew nothing, and started on the journey of learning as much as we could. We learned from each other through conversations, contrived and spontaneous. Those that seemed insignificant are ones we remember best. Sophomore year, we came in ready to learn as much as we could, and we had the basics down, studying stoichiometry and learning the art of a timed writing. My most important understanding came from biology class, learning that genetic mutations happen by chance. Then, if favorable in a given environment, the species evolves. Here at STEM, traits like flexibility and perseverance, the ones we may have discovered by accident, become necessary to survive. In moments of stress, we met each other in the counseling office or slumped in the NOCO beanbag chairs. Our conversations at STEM made setbacks feel more like springboards, ones we just had to encourage each other to hop onto. We came into junior year like eager freshmen, and not without reason. The IB was entirely new and entirely terrifying. Still, we had our adaptive skills, and we would need them, especially on Friday, March 13th. That day, I walked into school honestly excited for a two-week break from the grind of junior year. My excitement faded after those two weeks, turned into two months, which turned into a year. All the simple moments we once took for granted about STEM were wiped clean. The world as we knew it was different, but we knew we could and would carry on. Some of us worked from 9 p.m. to 1 a.m. Others favored hammocking in Marsh Creek while completing our asynchronous studies. I don't know what I was expecting for my senior year, but I did know that it would be weird. Online school was a jumble of breakout rooms, awkward silences, and so many iMovie productions. Isolation, stress, and fear tainted the last year. And I think those realities are difficult to deny. But we've accepted the glaring imperfections of our senior year, 
just like we've been taught. Because if we've learned anything at STEM, it's to keep moving forward. Sometimes slowly, sometimes not in a linear fashion, but ultimately forward. The conversation stayed just as frequent, just with a digital lag. We even got to dance together at prom, just relieved that we had made it through. The adaptations we made were small, and they weren't always visible, until on a day like today, we see the product of our evolution. We are pretty amazing. In case you're wondering, no, I'm still no closer to understanding the perspective of 26 dimensions, although I can say with authority that I'm learning to master the first three. We all are, thanks to each other. Perspective, attitude, and mindset are deeply intertwined, and they aren't these big ideas. Our perspective is how we approach our friends and our teachers, what color our lens for life is. Those everyday conversations inform our attitudes, and these together create our mindset about life. The setbacks we first encountered at STEM felt huge, but with time and experience, we see they are so small compared to where we are now and where we're headed. Purple Hibiscus author Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie said, your standard ideologies will not always fit your life because life is messy. Life is messy. The conventional academics will only get us as far as the IB exams we were supposed to take. The real challenge is adaptation and we only accomplish that with each other. So proud of all my dear friends and congratulations to the class of 2021. It's clear that our next speaker is a well-rounded individual. She has always been interested in exploring the cross-sections between many of the disciplines we know today, such as facets of neuroscience and psychology fit into literature, or how modern philosophy is affected by the ideologies of the past. As a member of HOSA, French Honor Society, the Downtown East Drumline, and STEM Dems, Exploring new and traditional experiences is a great interest to her. She is constantly an advocate for mental health, whether that means being supportive to those around her or organizing school-wide forums for students to express themselves during the pandemic. She will attend Case Western Reserve University as a Baker Nord Scholar, where will she pursue her fascination for neuroscience and philosophy. Before she goes on to college, she will also intern at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia as a Neurology High School Scholar. Please help me welcome to the stage, Somya Das. believed that our paths would come together briefly for four years and then we would split into our separate futures. But it's not quite like that, is it? We all bonded over something that changed our entire perspective, our entire mindset, our entire psychology. Our collective perseverance was surely tested in every way possible. It's funny, I've never really thought of perseverance as collective. It's always been more of an individual trait to me. But the pandemic prompted the creation of many new concepts and paradigms that we've never seen before. Collective perseverance, a new outlook on the meaning of friends and family, the importance of time, and how to anticipate IB official statements. 
While the pandemic contorted our sense of normalcy, our transition out of high school will always be marked by a general sense of uncertainty. But I have learned from the STEM community that we can choose to view this uncertainty optimistically. Uncertainty becomes comforting not because of its nature, but because of its commonality. From figuring out if you're muted or not on Zoom, to wondering if you're standing a little too close to the person next to you, uncertainty has certainly become somewhat of an unwanted companion. Frankly, I myself was uncertain how to create this speech. How was I supposed to combine mere words, mere syllables, to describe all of the emotions, all of the struggles that we have faced? I looked into the successful speeches of the past, Martin Luther King Jr., Abraham Lincoln, even Socrates, to find the perfect words to end our senior year. But I found that our particular situation requires something a bit more contemporary. And one voice resonated with us as we watched her on the steps of the Capitol building. Amanda Gorman and the Hill We Climb truly touched our hearts after a year of never-ending pessimism. I wanted to replicate the hill we climb and use the power of poetry to bond our collective experience even further. I started and ended it with the same lines as Miss Gorman's, but made it a bit more personalized to our experiences at the STEM Academy. When day comes, we ask ourselves, where can we find light in this never-ending shade? We've experienced pitfalls, only to find that the chasm can go deeper. We've endured trials that no other generation of high schoolers has endured. The norm became viewing pixelated versions of ourselves, wanting to leave the confines of the very house that we used to long for. Who am I? became the question of the decade. When will this end? became the question of the year. Change was no longer a metamorphosis, but rather a phenomenon to be feared. The walls of our present condition narrowed, restraining us into self-doubt, anxiety, apprehension. But we discovered something unexpected, that these restraints showed us who we are a Pandora's box, if you will. Pandora opened her box and let out evil into the world, but she will always shut it in time to leave hope inside the box. Like Pandora, we will always grasp onto the hope that is left, even when evil challenges our strength, our collective strength. Pandora's hope will guide us into the next day the next year, the next life. For there is always a new day, a new life. If only we're brave enough to live it. If only we're brave enough to be it. Miss Gorman, I thank you for sharing your poetic optimism in a world that desperately needed it. You continue to inspire me. And to the students and teachers of the STEM Academy, I also thank you. I can't truly express how much I've learned from you and how we have managed to build our collective perseverance together. I already know that our perseverance will be perennial and that we will carry it into our futures. So as we go on into the next chapter of our lives, we will choose optimism. We'll certainly face hardships, that much is inevitable, but we have been strengthened to endure them and realize that a new life awaits us. We will choose to hold on to hope, even if Pandora released her evils. We will choose to persevere, because we are the class of 2021.
How about another round of applause for our three speakers? They were fantastic. Man. How about a round of applause for the weather? All right. So this weekend, I will help my 30th foster dog find a permanent home. I take my role as a foster very seriously. It's not just about giving these pets a temporary home, but it's about my responsibility to raise them for a short time, that I have them, and make sure they are prepared for the next part of their journey. And this is the eighth time I've stood before a graduating class as a principal and done the same thing. The impermanence of high school was always evident in moments just like this. I cannot tell you what a privilege it has been to have been part of your journey for the past four years. Our commencement speakers referenced the lack of normalcy over the past one and a half years, but perhaps it would be wise not to rush back to normal. While there certainly has been pain and enormous, enormous loss since March of last year, there, there has also been some positives. Many of us are closer from being forced apart. We all got very creative with technology to keep in touch with friends and loved ones more often than usual. The pandemic gave us a wake-up call to focus on what is truly important to us. We spent time with our immediate families that we never would have otherwise. We were given the gift of slowing down, which did take a little getting used to at first. Some of us dusted off those board games, books, and puzzles. Many discovered the joy of making their own bread. And many caught up on sleep and enjoyed the comfort of pajama days with pets Zoom bombing nearby. We had time to notice small things we were too busy to see before. And in the world of education, we certainly had an opportunity to flex our adaptability muscles. Teachers changed the way they taught and interacted with their students almost overnight. Students adjusted the way they learned and collaborated with each other. And parents, well, maybe it's best not to remind you of all the things that changed for you. But, but we do know that those changes weren't optimal and they weren't easy. The point is, we did what we needed to do. You see, making the best of a situation you find yourself in and moving forward is a key life skill. Class of 2021, you have certainly had your share of accomplishments throughout your four years with us. As a wise senior said the other day, if the past year and a half have proved anything, it's the gaps in between the times that go smoothly and as planned are where we learn and where character builds. As the sun sets this evening, take these lessons of resilience and adaptability and challenge normalcy. Because normal isn't always an option, and it may not always lead to the best outcome. Your family, loved ones, teachers and administrators have done their best to fulfill their responsibilities during the short time that we've had with you to make sure you are prepared for the next part of your journey. And I assure you, you are. Congratulations to the class of 2021. Good job. Mr. Sheehan. Can I have the board members join us, please? Sean Thomas Herman, Stephen Arlington Leshko, 
Sonia Lynn Goldan. Lee Ann Lagravinus. Sean Mai Devarapali. Kendall Lynn Hart. Rhea Monacy Medigam. Rhea Mitra. Shruti T. Vallon. Andrew Walls Davis. Trisha Francisca Fernando. Paige Hennessy Williams. Somia Surabi Das. Anastasia Barbara Elizabeth Adlida. Jason Honglu Ma. Krishna B. Amin. Nathan Riley Mahoney. Jack Eric Anderson. Teresa Marnie. Adrian Bakker. Chirag Marwaha. Satija Banala. Eric Daniel McCurdy. Jack Vincent Barker. Lara Marie McDowell. Heidi Elizabeth Beardsley. Christopher Jackson Michelle. Peyton Caroline Beaver. Ethan Bradley Miller. Evan Pierre Bernard. Lucy Eliza Minshoff. The Clean Car Bogle. Courtney, Courtney Rose. Rose Moses. Sukni Car Bogle. Annalise Rose Moylan. Alyssa Grace Biggs. Sasia Mutribolu. Aditya Reddy Biller. Carrie Ann Mullen. Riley Alexander Bokikio. Ashwin Murley. <laughs> Anna Lavon Bolenbach. Michael Mutuma Mutharania. Madeline Angela Boone. Abinaya Nagala. Amanda Therese Bradford. Arvind Saju Kumar Nair. Tegan Antrim Brown. Leela Ann Nair. Alicia Lynn Bubka. Tarush Nalathambi. Mateo Peter Basterna. Vanchi Shivanad Navani. Jeffrey Joseph Canfield. Hanshika Divya Namala. Michael Joseph Cattell Jr. Don Nia Wynn. Bonnie Chaitan Chohan. Hope Honora Nicholson. Pranav Chidi. Paige Satsianda O'Hara. Isabella Grace Chiapa. <clears throat> Cameron Clark Overton. Shavika Chowdhury. Luis Helena B. Payed. Owen Stewart Clark. 
drove pant. Wayne Alexander Cochran. Emily Ann Panza. Julia Pakulin Canigliari. Caden Singh Papa. Miranda Nicole Corbo. Anthony James Pasco. Isabella Jinsun D'Ambrosio. Samantha Lynn Pearson. Tara Nita Damle. Sophia Florence Pelleggi. Samantha Marie D'Angelo. Sahil Patak. Raghav Dorak. Irene Jin Puro. Ryan Patrick Darlington. Akruthi Reddy Pudaparthi. Aria Sham Deve. Mizba Karashi. Julia Maxine Davidson. Kurt Richard Rockow. Jordan Alexander Davis. Paj Ramachandrula. Aryan Rahul Deshpande. Maida Ashok Raman. Sanjana Devrakanda. Rohan Rao. Saror Danju. Ashara Ravi. Blake Andrew Dillon. Anurag Ray Chowdhury. Nicholas Giardini DeMichael. Eric Winhall Wren. Angelina Otoni Rauza Donatelli. Julia Teresa Riley. Claire Evelyn Dockerty. Matthew Stephen Ringhopper. Jillian Rose Diba. Tyler Rowan Rodriguez. Zachary Aziz El Gundy. Robert Charles Roseboro the Third. Jasmine El Sayed. Declan James Reimer. Ethan Andrew Ernst. Alexandra Morgan Saul. David Paul Feckman Jr. Nathaniel Ryan Schiller. Antov Joseph Fedjukov. Hannah Marie Schmidt. James Lewis Fox. Lila Christine Scott. Brandon Thomas Fulmer. Rachel Yuki Seegers. Ava Madison Gabries. Sia Segal. Shreya Gadam. Madison Abigail Seymour. Madison Ann Gaffney. Rhea Ashish Shaw. Zachary Oliver Gardner. Yumi Elizabeth Shinagawa. Ashka Garg. Catherine Ann Schrock. Eliana Elsie Gosser. Ramikbal Kane Singh. Christopher Martin Giroux. Rudy Sony. 
Neha Reddy Gonipati. Cole Davis Springer. Rebecca Gonzalez Hurtado. Anna Rose Stracolini. Rosalie Lane Gordon. Pranav Subi. Nicholas James Graybill. Sydney Renee Swarbrick. Bargov Ram Guntapali. Robert Paul Swarder. Adit Gupta. Allison Nicole Swinton. Riley Eve Harker. Morgan Kelsey Taylor. Nathan Andrew Harley. Rebecca Ann Thomas. Paige Hanlon Hauer. Caitlin Patricia Toth. Paul Edison Hurley IV. Lucia Maria Ugarte. Paulina Alexander Ilian. Prithvi Ulaganathan. Melissa James Irvin. Kushali Burdez Vader. Lauren Liz Jacob. Aditi Vadaguri. Arushi Jane. Trisha Mohan Vanacharla. Atashe Jen. Saket Chandra Varanasi. Maxwell Howard Johnson. Ira Tushar Vedanti. Arman Horace Kaleem. Somia Vemulapali. Lauren Maurice Kammerer. Avanthia Vudsaki. Olivia Marie Katz. Ryan Patrick Wagner. Brendan Charles Keller. Samantha Grace Walker. Joseph Bennett Kenworthy. Jingshu Wong. Cameron Kate Keyboard. Ella Lauren Warner. Jackson Saul Kitchen. Jalen Carlos Ward. Darius Jason Corahanis. Macy Alexandra Watkins. Rohit Ram Krishnan. Madeline Jane Weller. Himishveta Kumar. Rachel Aaron Wirtz. Kirthana Kumar. Lauren Elizabeth Pooley. Amanda Grace Kunkel. Ava Elizabeth Wise. Jack Grant Laird. Owen Christopher Wright. Talia Grace Levine. Sydney Leah Yao. Ryan Ling. Jacob Alexander Yost. Kara Teresa Long. Emily Lauren Young. Ty Longafe. Leo Yong Zhang. Elizabeth Liu. 
Andrew Dwayne Zoe. Diana Nabunya Lubwama. Lillian Ida Garbor Zorzina. Nathan Christopher Lucas. about another round of applause for the class of 2021. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. until I find my paper. Dr. Lenardi, would you please join me on the stage? At this time, I present the Downingtown STEM Academy class of 2021 to Dr. Emily Lenardi, our superintendent. As headmaster, I am certifying to you that this class has completed all Pennsylvania statutory requirements for successful completion of high school in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. If you would, please confer graduation upon these 204 seniors. Thank you, Headmaster Campbell. First, let me say that I am so very glad to be with you in person, graduates, families, and my colleagues, on what is a perfect Downingtown evening. Before conferring the diplomas, I'd like to offer my sincere and heartfelt congratulations to the class of 2021 and to all your loved ones in the audience this evening. Class of 2021, I know your path to this day has not been easy, and surely not what you envisioned. In short, the pandemic revolutionized many aspects of our lives and created new realities as the year unfolded. During this time, you have truly been tested by all things COVID. We all have. So as our leader, I continually try to find the silver lining in any way I could as we navigated through this year. And I want you to know that you, our students, have been a large part of the fabric of my silver lining. You have worked through the constant changes and restrictions and emerged stronger, incredibly resilient, extremely compassionate, remarkably innovative, and continuously flexible. That is the stuff that silver linings are made of, and I thank you. Author Maya Angelou was quoted as saying, nothing can dim the light that shines from within. As you continue on life's sojourn, I urge you to bring that light. Take all that you have learned and help bring peace and love into areas in need. Be the silver lining for others going forward bringing positivity in all that you do and for all those for whom you interact. Make a difference and continually shine your light. Graduates, I am so very proud of you. My heartiest congratulations. And now, now without further ado, will all graduates please rise. By the power vested in me by the Downingtown Board of School Directors, in accordance with the Pennsylvania School Code, the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, and the Department of Education, I hereby confer the academic degrees, declaring the class of 2021 
as graduates of Downingtown STEM Academy. Graduates, you may turn your tassels. Congratulations, graduates, you may be seated. Hello, everybody. I've had the privilege of serving as the class president for all four years of high school and want to thank all of you for letting me to help us lead throughout this crazy experience. It's funny, right before junior year elections, we were told we could make campaign posters. At the time, STEM was a construction zone and there was a literal dirt pit in front of our school. Everyone was complaining. So I captioned my poster, things can only get better. I, I guess I should have been a little bit more specific. Fortunately, things did get better. It just took longer than we anticipated. Everyone here in person today is indicative of that. I reflect back on our shared high school experience with nothing but affection and hope for the future. Because now, things will get even better. I cannot wait to see what every single one of you will accomplish in your futures. So please join us now, everyone here physically and virtually, to commend the class of 2021 as we celebrate both our hard work and our bright futures. Graduates, please stand. Downingtown STEM Academy, please lift your caps. And on the count of three, our futures begin. One, two, three.